As you know, I've got cats and the cats are always playing on the workshop roof. If you've ever wondered how the cats get on the workshop roof, then look at the door. <laughs> Mountaineering cat. That looks very zoomed in, but it isn't. It's from May 2017, so it's, um, yes. Will it still have its smart stuff, do you think? Touch and go. It's a Freeview Play TV, so can things on Freeview Play, do they ever get removed? I thought Freeview Play was Freeview Play. The Verista's gone. He's taken out the fuse. It looks like it's the bridge rectifier that's gone, taking out the fuse and the varista at the same time. It does happen on these. Let me see what I've got. This board's got a faulty IC, but I can take everything else from it. New solder and solder braid. Time to use it.
and sold it, okay? Of course it would be fine, that's the good board, I've just realised. So I'll also take the varista and the fuse out for this. Okay, fuse is okay on this one. I've just noticed on this board there's a load of components that have got corroded. I think I'm going to have to stick a new board in, this is a waste of time. I must be repairing this half asleep today because I, I didn't really notice earlier um, that this board is badly corroded on the back in certain places. Um, I don't know why I didn't notice that earlier, but I didn't. So, so far I've replaced the Varista, uh, the fuse, uh, four diodes, which of course is the uh, bridge rectifier, um, um, an SMD diode. So I've, I've, you know, I'm a good 45 minutes to an hour in this, and then I blooming noticed that this... Um, this board is badly corroded. Now, these boards don't cost much, and, and I'm bound to have some in a lockup. Um, but even if I didn't, they're between five and ten quid on eBay. So really, I'm, I'm wasting time here, and unfortunately, it's wasting customers' time and money. If I was just doing a repair video, fair enough. But I'm not. I'm under the clock because it's a repair video. Um, and, but I've just made a decision. I'll continue repairing it, and then I notice something. I'm going to stick another cap in there because that's gone. But in the next couple of minutes, I suddenly realised that the capacitor in this one is a completely different value to the capacitor I've got in five other boards here. I've got five boards identical, um, but they've got a different rated capacitor, so they're obviously for slightly different sets. Um, so that's it. Um, I've decided this has been a waste of 45 minutes so far. Uh, I'm going to go and have a look in the lockup, and I'm going to find myself a board that matches this TV. I'm bound to have it. It's just a pain to have to walk. Um, <laughs> it's a couple of hundred yards down the road. I've got a lockup a couple of hundred yards down the road, and it's through the park. So it's a nice walk, and I walk the dog, but it's, <laughs> it's still a pain. So I'm just going to have to do that. I know it's kind of cheating, but as I say, this is not a, um, well, it is a TV repair channel, but it's how I repair them for my customers. So um, I just don't think it was cost effective for me to continue with the soldering iron. I've already replaced half a dozen parts, and I, I just think it's just time to stick another board in. I may continue to repair this board, so I've got a spare one. But as I say, the, the, the ten a penny, sometimes you're just wasting your time.
I've looked at the prices of boards for you burn these because I've I've got two of these. One left spare now, but I'll repair the other one, so I've got another one. But there's one on eBay for five pounds in free postage. I mean, I th I've just stuck six quid's worth of parts in that other one. It's just not worth it. It's a waste. And I've just realised I'm getting confused. This is not a customer's TV. This is my TV. Why did I think it was a customer? The customer brought me a 43-inch, which I am repairing for him, but this one was just for parts. I don't know why I forgot that, but I did. I've got to find a remote control for this, and I'll plug the tinternet into it, and we'll just see what apps are still available. If it's a free view play, I'm guessing they all should be available, but... I've been wrong before. Just have a read what it says on screen. It makes you believe that you've got to tune the TV into Freeview before you can watch um, any apps. Really? Got to be tuned in. Well, of course it's not true. It's nonsense. That's ridiculous. All you have to do is reset the TV. I don't mean a factory reset, but you can do that if you want to. Um, but just a first time installation reset in the installation menu. And then it will guide you through the procedure. You connect it. Obviously, I've told it it's a wired set. And then we can test the apps. So it doesn't have to be tuned in. It just has to be reset. I know it's not a 4K TV. I'm only testing. Testing, testing, one, two. That's per usual. It's an OK Vestel uh, HD picture. And it's still got the apps. And I think I've got the feet for it somewhere here. And I found a remote. So I'll flog it. See if I can get some money back. My time wasted. Anyway. At least it's not in the landfill. It'll be in somebody's bedroom or bathroom soon. Thanks for watching.